in this session uh, let's install the Linux operating system so now let's open the VMware workstation and then click on I want to try VM workstation 10 for 30 days and enter your email ID click continue it asks for permission click yes click finish close this and then maximize this okay the VM software is opened now let's create the new virtual machine click create a new virtual machine so here we will leave it as typical click next and here let's select the ISO file this is the file which contains the Linux operating system so browse and I have my software on desktop and the software folder and this is the ISO file I select that and click open okay I selected the ISO file now I want to install this operating system later so I select this button and click next and here the operating system is Linux and the type of Linux is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5 64 bit I select that click next here I give a name to my virtual machine so I want to call it as Oracle database okay and by default it is created in the documents folder which I don't want to do so I want to create on the C colon so I take that out so I want it to be created in C colon slash virtual machines slash Oracle database I'll click next here uh, let's give the disk size of 80 GB okay 20 GB is too less so let's make it 80 GB and we want that in a single file so I'll select this option click next and here uh, let's modify few things using customized hardware here uh, let's click on the new CD DVD and here let's select the same ISO image file which we have selected previously so this is the file click open and then click close okay and then click finish here so now all the necessary parameters for the virtual machine are configured now let's go and power on this virtual machine so we click that and now this VMware is being loaded okay click OK and here it is I have pressed enter to start in graphical mode and the installation is started so it's loading you can skip it let's click next and then select English next so US English if you are in US next here we are asking if any previous data is found can we erase that click yes here it is asking us to partition our hard drive we have totally allocated 80 GB right so it is asking us to partition the hard drive so let's go here and let's create the custom layout and then click next and here let's allocate space for each directory and create couple of disk okay let's click new let's select the mount point as backslash and then let's allocate 3 gig so that's 3000 MB and then let's make it a primary partition and click okay so now let's click again new now let's mount point as boot and let's allocate 2 GB okay and let's make this as the primary partition click OK click new now select home let's allocate 7 GB and click OK and let's create one more and let's select temp and then allocate 4 gig click 
click OK click new now let's select user and allocate 10 gig so that's 10,000 MB click OK now let's click new select mount point as VAR and then let's allocate 7 gig click OK new and let's select OPT and let's allocate 8 gig now again let's click new and here backslash U01 and then allocate 8 gig click OK so now again click new and then in the file system type select swap let's allocate 8 gig so still we have some free space okay so now let's click new and create couple of more folders disk 1 and let's give that 12 gig so that's 12,000 okay and one more new and then let's create disk 2 okay and then 12,000 that's equal to 12 gig and click okay okay so now pretty much we allocated everything right okay that's good now click next and then click next here and then here let's edit the network devices and then let's go for the manual configuration and enter IP address 192.168.50.0 55 and then in the net mask let's enter 255.255.255.0 and then uncheck this enable IPv6 support and then click OK and then let's configure the host name now let's call this host name as linux.oracle and then click next it says we didn't provide the gateway so click continue we didn't provide the primary DNS continue and then select the time zone since I am on Eastern time zone I selected America slash New York if you are in India or Europe or any other region select the appropriate time zone and then click next here enter the root password remember this root password this is pretty important okay okay next okay so now it's retrieving the installation information and then here select everything and then here click on customize now click next select both of them you see I press the shift key and I selected both of them right click and then I said select all optional packages so you need to click shift and then select both of them okay and then right click and then select all optional packages and then let's go to the applications and then press ctrl A so that you select everything right click and then say select all optional packages so now go to development go here and press ctrl A and right click select all optional packages go to servers and then control A right click and then select all optional packages base system control A right click 
select all optional packages cluster storage okay select that one right click select all optional packages clustering select that select all optional packages virtualization select it right click select all optional packages okay languages we can leave that okay so we have selected pretty much everything okay so now click next so now it is checking the dependencies so it takes some time to check the dependencies and then the installation will start now click next so now the actual installation is starting so the installation is going on this will take at least an hour to finish because we selected almost all the packages it will take a while here it is saying remaining time is 25 minutes that's good so depending upon the speed of your computer or laptop it can vary and again the time is varying between 25 to 30 minutes even if you see it for an hour that's okay okay let it take its own time and install the software another eight more minutes to go two more minutes to go so the installation is almost complete so it's performing post install configuration now it's installing the bootloader okay done we have successfully installed the Linux operating system right now let's go and reboot the system so the Linux operating system is being rebooted so press any key press enter it's starting it's starting all the process click forward accept the license agreement click forward click forward set the time so January 21st time okay good if you want to change it you can change it forward so now if you want you can create a new user for your regular purposes okay so I am creating a user called training I'll just give the same name training password okay forward forward okay I don't have any additional CDs so finish now uh, let's log in okay so the username is root and then the password is whatever the password which you have entered while installing the software and now I'm logging into Linux okay here you go we have successfully logged into Linux now let's go to the terminal so right click and say open terminal this is the character user interface where we can type the commands okay most of the time in the Linux environment you will be using the character user interface to run your commands let's use the command df-h to find out whether the disk allocation has been done as needed okay everything looks good so now let's install some files necessary for the Linux operating system okay so I go to VM here I say install VMware tools okay and here you see this it's a zip file okay now I right click on this zip file and say extract to and then it's extracting into the folder desktop which is fine so click on extract so now it's extracting all the files to desktop the extraction has been completed so let me close this okay let me minimize this and you see it has extracted into this folder so I will open this folder and then click on this install so run in terminal okay so now the installation is starting so let me press enter again enter enter 
enter enter enter enter enter press enter enter again enter again enter again press enter the installation is successfully completed okay let's try to restart the operating system okay so let's go here right click and say power power off so power off so now we are switching off the operating system okay it successfully switched off now let's power on the virtual machine so that means now we are starting the Linux operating system most of this work is done by the Linux administrators since we don't have Linux administrators with us we are installing right otherwise in the organizations or in your office the Linux administrator would be doing most of this work he will set up the entire Linux only from installing the database that is where your work starts okay okay entering the user root and then the password and it is logging in okay that's good so we have successfully installed the Linux operating system including the necessary tools to install our Oracle database in the next session we will start installing the Oracle database okay